Towards a New Socialism, section. Market Socialism. As we have already said, we are well aware that our arguments run against the recent tide of right-wing pro-market opinion. We make no apology for this. We believe that the fashion is mistaken, and will ultimately be seen as such. Of more concern to us, however, is the fact that many avowedly socialist writers have, over the 1980s, expressed serious doubts over the classic socialist project of a planned economy, and have advocated instead various forms of market socialism. The voices raised against this trend have been rather few. In this section, we consider some of the market socialist views. We shall argue that market socialism is seriously inadequate as a goal of socialist politics. We agree with Devine, 1988, that market socialism reflects not a bold new conception on the part of socialist theorists, but a damaging accommodation to the dominance of the right. Whereas Gramsci called for, quote, pessimism of the intellect, optimism of the will, i.e., hard-headed realism combined with a passionate commitment to socialist objectives. The market socialism of the 1980s betrays a, quote, pessimism of the will, a debilitating loss of confidence in the ability of socialism to offer any really distinctive long-term political project. We obviously cannot offer detailed comments on all the market socialist arguments that have been put forward lately. For our purposes here, we focus on one recent contribution in the West, that of Diane Elson, and one from the East, that of Abel Abigayan. End of section.